uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings. Hope you are aware of you are. What are you doing? If you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel I'm Bushka. And uh, today we're going to be looking at this. This is a game that I was able to get early access to. This is a huge RPG entry into the marketplace by Marvel. This is the Marvel Future Revolutions game. And uh, it's massive. And as you can probably see just by looking at it, it's all eye candy. The thing looks absolutely spectacular. Now, one of the things I've always loved in gaming is RPGs. I started playing RPGs probably, what? No, not probably. Uh, 25 years ago. 25 years ago. Pretty scary thing. And there was just never really any RPGs available on mobile for me to play that I really enjoyed. And this is a big change up. This is a game where you can actually roll with 10-man groups uh, in kind of a 10v10 arena setting. You can run into these things called Dark Zones, which have up to 50 players involved in them. Or you can just play PvE storylines and progress your favorite Marvel characters like Iron Man, Spider-Man, you know, Black Widow, all that kind of caper. And it looks freaking amazing. It's the Unreal Engine and the 3D graphics are ridiculous. Now, obviously, I'm a bit of a noob, so I don't know what I'm doing here, but... I'll show you some other parts of the gameplay where you can move forward and actually progress the storyline. And it's very easy to play. Um, this is my first, once I got through the, uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but this is what happens when you start the game and you go through the storyline mode at the start and then you click off and you start doing missions and earning all kinds of gear and getting new boots and new clobber. And you think that you're invincible because you've just been invincible during the tutorial and you start out and you start shooting things and you're just pressing the really dodgy buttons and you die. This is what happens when you're bad. I mean, I'm pretty bad. I'm a potato in all kinds of modes of, yeah, yeah this is this is Iron Man coming second. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Instant revival or revive at starting point. I'll go back to the starting point, thanks very much, and try all over again. There's a whole bunch of different costumes as well. The, um... I was lucky enough to get this new bit of kit you can see and you can upgrade your hero and change your look and just be all around cool and I found that to be pretty exciting as well. One of the weird things for me in playing these kind of games uh, is just how far down the rabbit hole you will go on looking pretty and I was absolutely cock a hoop once I got Iron Man in black and gold. <laughs> It's great. It's really good. A lot of fun. Um, there are a lot of skills that you can get with your character. There are a lot of ways to progress your character in terms of skill development. You can choose specific skills to use for different kinds of fights and different kind of opponents. Uh, and all the characters have different skills. You can fly around. You can run on the ground. You can dodge. You can weave. You have heals. You have different ways of building up the skills of the characters. It's just really involved and really deep and immersive, which is what you want out of an RPG, right? I, I get that. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to try the 10v10 mode um, because there wasn't a lot of people playing at the time that I was playing. But for all that, um, it's a really easy story progression if you want to just run the single player. This is where... You basically get missions, you do the missions, you build up your character's skills, you can skip through if you want, and then once you've completed the mission, you just click on it, and it will auto-fly you to the next area that you need to go to. It's a lot like playing a big style RPG, but on a mobile device, which is kind of cool, only it looks like it's being played on a PC. The graphics are absolutely drop-dead gorgeous and ridiculous. Uh, if you want to get involved in this, you can, I'll put a link for the pre-registration down below. Um, it is very easy. And if you do pre-register, you get, uh, I think you get a, an outfit that's like specifically for people that pre-registered in the uh, in the event. I'm going to be doing a live stream on this as well. Uh, and that should be a lot of fun so that you can, if you get any questions, you can ask them then. And I'll be able to showcase some more of the actual uh, PvP stuff, which is really what you want to be involved with. That's that's the best part of uh, big style RPGs. And I just want to stress that this is something that I haven't been able to find anywhere. Um, real PvP content, um, real character progression, and drop dead gorgeous PC style graphics. And to me, 
that's pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> like, um, you'll see that down the bottom right hand corner, I've got a whole bunch of skills. And then I've got my one special skill, which we're going to build up to here. And I'm going to show you that. That's that triangle with the circle going around it. When you trigger that, you basically just fire missiles at everything that is within eye candy radius. And it looks amazing. Here we go. Ready for this? Boom, boom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> looks awesome. Feels awesome. Plays awesome. Is awesome. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be doing a live stream on this in the near future. Uh, and if there's anything you particularly want to see in it, let me know. Uh, hopefully, early access comes to more people than just me because I want more people on the servers. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you out there on the battlefield. Bye for now.